Adjusting pH is an important concern so that we have the optimum range for the nutrient uptake that we're looking for our plants to achieve. So as you know, at lower pHs, we see more P and K available. At higher pHs, for example, we see more calcium available. So it's important that we're monitoring our pH. I would also recommend testing the pH of your runoff. So there's a couple of ways for us to adjust pH. Of course, you've heard of the home remedies like baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and vinegar, but we do have better products than that. You can use things like sodium bicarbonate, but you could end up with ex excess levels of sodium in your nutrient solution. So typically, we're using phosphoric acid and potassium hydroxide. So these, these things are perfectly fine pH adjusters, but sometimes I get asked, can we adjust pH organically? And the answer is yes. Uh, for example, uh, products like uh, potassium bicarbonate and citric acid can be used to adjust pH. I have had feedback in that sometimes organic foods can be really acidic. So when you're adding your pH up, because the extreme difference between the pH of the nutrient solution and the pH up you're adding, what you get is a bit of binding up and locking out, right? And so what is that? When, <clears throat> so if you're adding a pH up or down to your nutrient solution and you see a white cloudy swirl in the water immediately, that is the pH adjuster binding with some things in your nutrient solution and making them unavailable. So there's a couple ways to deal with that. You can dilute your pH adjuster before you add it to your nutrient solution and you may see less of a reaction. If you have mixed the nutrient solution many, many times, you could, and you know exactly how much you need to use, you could add the pH adjuster before you add your nutrient. That way it's dissolved in the full volume of water. It's in a low enough concentration. You're not gonna see any binding up and locking out. However, in some circumstances with some of these organic foods, they're super acidic. And I have had clients tell me that if they used uh, natural pH up, they got less binding up and locking out. So, you know, these, these factors, there's gonna be some variables, right? Like your water, everyone's water is different, so that's gonna play a part. So experiment with these different things, watch your pH, figure out which one works best for you.